almost 30 times. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here in the Freedom Lounge, a.k.a. the Freedom Shack. And I thought uh, enough of the politics. Let's go ahead and push forward and do a video on gun parts. Okay, so what are we doing now today? Uh, this is a series that I'm getting ready to start. And it all stemmed from this last three-gun event that I just did down at the Clinton House Plantation. It was the Tar Heel Challenge, which was a really, really good three-gun. It was probably one of the most challenging ones I've ever done. Uh, with the exception of maybe Memorial 3-Gun. And uh, so what I wanted to do was develop a new 3-Gun rifle. Uh, right here is my old 3-Gun rifle. Not old, but uh, this is a, a different 3 <laughs> The initial 3-Gun rifle. And I did not want to take this apart or write a, rehash it or repurpose it. I just wanted to leave it alone as it is because it's absolutely perfect with the exception of, and I know this is petty, but we have a uh, heavy barrel. This is the Proof Research 1 and 8 twist, 16 inches in length. So being that I'm getting a little older, today I went for a physical, and uh, let's just say it did not come back as, as good as I wanted. Uh, as always, the doctor says you got to lose weight, your high blood pressure, you got a high cholesterol rate, and maybe you got a little case of type 2 diabetes going on there. So, yeah. The idea was, let's go ahead and build another three-gun upper to be used on this lower. This is uh, my DMR rifle. This is just as bad as it gets. I think with a, a certain type of ammo, I was getting 0.38 inches at 100 meters or 100 yards, and there's just nothing better. So what I wanted to do was take and rebuild uh, what I had was the 6-arc. This is the 6-arc barrel, which really did not not let's just say it didn't come into what I expected. I might just send this back to proof and see if they can provide me with an updated version with the uh, chamber uh, modifications that they're supposed to have. But in the meantime, I went ahead and took the upper receiver and pulled the barrel out of it. Now the interesting thing is with the proof, not the proof, but the JP uh, handguard, uh, this part right here can stay on the uh, upper receiver and the barrel uh, even though I use the Loctite on it, this barrel, all you got to do is heat it up and she comes right out. So which means that thanks to the guys over there at Optics Planet, we'll do a full blown review on the 16 inch uh, 223 wild barrel that is coming. Uh, we'll go ahead and mount it in this upper receiver. And then I bought a, this is the longer, the seven, uh, this is a 17 inch version that came off of this upper. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put a 15 and a half inch to match that 16 inch barrel. So what I'm hoping to do is come up with a version of this right here. And by the way, this is the, uh, the uh, Gen 2. This is their uh, PLX scope, which by the way, at the last three gun event, this thing was spot on, man. It was dead nuts to my load. Everything that I had, all I had to do was laser it out, figure out what the meters were. This is in meters. I'm getting ready to go there. So anyway, we got a new bolt coming. This is the uh, six arc bolt in here, but the same carrier. And we're going to use an Ultradyne muzzle brake, uh, some Ultradyne uh, off, what a 45 degree angled deals here, the C offset sight system. And one of these days, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do a comparison between the Magpul Pros. And on this one, I also actually also have the Ultradyne. These, these things are absolutely amazing so anyway the idea is that we're going to take this upper we're going to put a 16 inch uh proof research carbon fiber wrap barrel one and eight twist two two three wild right and we are going to mount the uh this is their plx cantilever mount scope right here zero moa and before we mount this guy this is the primary arms uh plx scope with ACSS reticle in yards. So on this one, this is meters, this is yards, and it is going to hopefully be combined with this lower over here. I've got a Trigger Tech diamond on this guy. Also, big shout out to my buddy. Uh, what the hell was that? Oh, <laughs> the real Cobra Burnout. Okay, and these are from Rad Labs, this deal right here, radlabs3d.com. These are cool as I'll get out. Um, anyway, you put them on there. And you go. So the idea is we're going to have a JP lower with a Trigger Tech Diamond trigger in it. Uh, then I don't know if I'll continue using the uh, this guy right here. This is one of the best butt stocks, is the Veltor. I love this, and I like the neoprene setup I have. You know what? I'm just going to keep it on there. I love it. 
and then uh, put the new upper on it with this optic right here mounted. And we're going to take it out and see what, it's, see what it does. So the idea is you get older, you want something that's a little lighter. Uh, I actually have a full carbon fiber rifle that I had thought about using just simply because it's it's just it's light as I'll get out. However, with the 20 inch barrel, it's really not conducive to uh, the uh, three gun stuff. You could use it. I'd rather have an 18 inch, but nobody had an 18 inch available. They're four months out. So we went ahead and chose a 16, make something really light and go with it. So as we continue on with this build series, uh, I'll keep you guys informed. We've got a JP uh, adjustable gas block over here. And right behind me, I've got the Lantac. This is a mid-length gas system gas tube. So we'll be pumping that in there. But we'll see how accurate it is. We've got a couple other rifle builds that we need to take out to the range and see how they perform. Uh, one has the old ACSS reticle on it. The other one has the uh, PLX with the Griffin reticle in it, which I absolutely love. And then we go from there. So with that being said, I just wanted to do something that was a little less politically uh, uh, energized. Okay. Uh, Joe Biden has seemed to be able to destroy uh, whatever we have left in the United States. And now he's trying to take our guns from us. And we'll do that, a review of his little video he did last night, which would be fun. We'll do that tomorrow. So KB32, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Man, you want to talk about just a badass setup. This is, it's just, mm, I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.